Starting from birth, almost everyone loses flexibility. While most 6-year-olds can still touch their toes easily, the majority of 12-year-olds cannot anymore. Resisting this shrinking process, who would? It requires stretching, hard work and discipline, doesn't it? So, hello you. This is the hamstring video I wanted to do since months. Months actually, not, not only weeks, long time. And I wanted to start it off with like the scientific background, why this works, why you can lengthen the hamstrings without stretching. And it turns out that's a lot of work to do. And I, I, I didn't come around to really like write everything down and then do a nice uh, video with pictures and the studies and all the scientific facts. Just too much work for me at the moment. I'm very busy in my practice. I have a lot of clients and, and didn't get around to do this uh, hamstring uh, science behind it. But I just want to start off showing you how it is done. Just go right in the middle of it and how, how you can lengthen your hamstrings without stretching. So if we talk about tight hamstring, we have to know what are tight hamstring, what is the meaning of this sentence. So for this we have a test, which is called the active knee extension test, it's a scientific term, uh, a scientific test. Um, we do it at home, it's not that precise, but we will get an idea of how tight your and my hamstrings are. For this test you need a firm surface, here I have a treatment table, a Feldenkrais treatment table, which is rather firm, but you can do it on the floor, on a yoga mat, you cannot do it on a soft couch, you cannot do it in a bed, you need a firm surface. So, uh, then you get yourself on the surface, on the bed, and we test the right leg first. For this we have three things we have to, to look out, which is important. The other leg, in this case the left leg, has to be completely extended, have to be straight, so it's not allowed to be flexed in any way, it has to be really extended. The second prerequisite is you have to have the thigh of the test you want, the leg you want to test, the right leg, have to be in a completely vertical position. So this is uh, vertical as much as, as, I can, as I can see. So I know this is not vertical and this isn't either, so it must be somewhere here. And the third thing you need to be aware of is your pelvis. The pelvis is not allowed to tilt backwards. You cannot, and this would spoil the test. So this is an backward tilt, uh, posterior pelvic tilt. This is no good, you have to keep the pelvis in a neutral position. So one is leg long, second is upper leg in a vertical position, third keep your pelvis in a neutral position. And then uh, extend your knee a couple of times just to warm up, so this is okay to warm up. Okay, then that's how, uh, don't do this. Don't move your tie when you straighten your knee. Just keep your tie really in position. So, we start at a 90 degree angle. So you can see this is uh, 90 degrees and then, so the test starts now. I extend the knee, I extend the knee, I extend the knee and I see how far does it go without tilting the pelvis backwards. Just the pelvis in neutral position, the other leg has to be straight and the tie has to be uh, vertical, right? So this can extend to this extent. How many degrees is this? So, we know if it's 165 degrees or less, then it's too short. So this is 90 degrees. If it's anything less than 165 degrees, your hamstrings are too tight. And you will have to invest some work to get them into a normal range again which is more than 165 degrees. Ideally, you can see, if I want to sit on the floor with straight legs, this has to extend to 180 degrees, right? So, otherwise I will have to round my back uh, to be able to do it. Um, I'm now like 8 weeks into the challenge. I've worked on my hamstrings for 8 weeks, like 2 minutes a day. I've been rather lazy, to be honest. I have one video which is longer, which is addresses movement habits, 
So you will incorporate better movement habits into your life, a better understanding for how your legs and your upper body are connected. So I did this like five times and then I have a shorter video with short exercises, like two minutes a day, if you do it two minutes a day. I don't do it every day, but most days I do it in the morning a little bit, which is a knee extension uh, exercise. So I will bring you the two videos you need to lengthen your hamstrings, to get back to your original length, the length you need, like 165 degrees or more, without stretching and incorporating new movement habits into your life. So it's not just stretching the hamstrings, but it's a whole body awareness, a whole body exercise. We're using our brains to be able to have long hamstrings again, to have a feeling, have a different kind of perception of ourselves. And I will see you in the next video.